Hey YouTubers, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell over by the subscriber button to notify you every single time I upload. Enjoy the video. Hey YouTubers, and welcome back to another Dragon Ball Super discussion video. I am once again joined by the Golden Scouter. Guys, before he says hello, actually, I want everyone to go down to the description section below, hit that link, and go subscribe to this man, because this guy makes some really, really awesome content in the Dragon Ball community, and I really hope all of you guys go and explore his channel, because you won't be disappointed with everything that you see, especially the criticism, uh, also just thought-provoking material, and also really fun fun drinks and food and all this other stuff so man how have you been it's been a while say hello to everybody hey everyone i am the golden scouter and i'm pretty good how are you doing mark <laughs> i'm great man i'm great anyway uh <laughs> so guys we're gonna be talking today about Jiren, Universe 11, the Tournament of Power, the end of the Tournament of Power, and potentially the future of Dragon Ball Super. I know that's a whole lot of stuff to cover, but let's get into it. So, man, I was telling you before this particular video, look, we just saw that hour-long special. We're all still reeling from it, I'm sure. I, I really liked it. I'm, uh, I'll, I'll send the people over to your channel to see your review on it as well. Uh, honestly, like, I'm wondering, considering that thrashing and that unbelievable strength and endurance that we had from Jiren in that particular episode to put it into perspective I saw uh, MJ talking about this today uh, Seth the programmer also talked about this as well uh, to put it into perspective Jiren with one finger stopped Super Saiyan God Goku who Beerus and Goku were shaking the world from literally punching each other's fists at the same time so this guy is strong. There is like barely anyone in this entire continuity that we've met and Goku has fought that has been able to step to Goku throughout this entire journey. And I'm wondering, is he too strong? Is he so strong that this series is going to, after this is all said and done, whether or not Jiren gives up someone, comes into the fray and interrupts the the tournament of power or it ends on its own regard and everything is hunky-dory at least for some universes at the end of all this is there going to be a point where they go well the pride troopers were awesome they were really strong and hopefully we'll fight them again but we never necessarily get back to them at some point during the future and to preface this i mean we saw universe 10 get completely erased we have no idea whether universe 10 is actually going to continue to be gone at the end of this particular tournament. But Universe 10 got its spotlight in the last arc with the Future Trunks, uh, Goku Black, Zamasu, all that stuff. We don't necessarily need to go into that universe, explore it, and have other people fight or come from that universe. So, I mean, just your general thoughts from that particular onslaught of information and speculation on my part. I mean, whenever it comes to the Pride Troopers, I'd like to see more of just the seven that weren't eliminated. But whenever it comes to Jiren, I feel like that if he were to come across again, just say in like another filler arc, kind of like the eight weeks of peace, nine weeks of peace, not exactly sure how many episodes those were, just off the top of my head, because there was those two episodes where Hit returned again, and for me, if Jiren were to return again, just like in a future arc, just on the sidelines, it'd kind of feel like a rehash of that, so in my opinion... If he were to return for maybe the final arc, like, say, whether it be a tournament arc or just, I mean, maybe if it is that Goku has to team up against someone who is just so awesomely powerful, I think that Goku and Jiren teaming up in that sense might be pretty worth seeing. But if Jiren were just to appear kind of soon like how Hit did, I feel like that that would be kind of too much of a rehash. Because Hit and Jiren are very, very similar in a lot of regards. They're both quiet and mysterious, and they're both incredibly strong in their own right. So just basically my main point is, is that I think that if Jiren were to appear before maybe a final arc or something like that for us to get a chance to miss him, kind of like if future Trunks were to return too soon, I just don't think it would be as effective to reintroduce him. But I do think that we will see Jiren. I'm just hoping it won't be too soon. You know, just jumping off that, I think you make a really good point when you bring up Hit in comparison with Jiren. Because a lot of people, I think, in this community would, I guess, equate them to being almost the exact same character. You have this kind of tall, brooding, overly powerful 
guy who doesn't necessarily emote anyway. Uh, I would honestly argue the opposite of that with Hit. I've done it so many times on this channel. He definitely does have some morals. He definitely does have some goals in mind when he approaches any particular situation. And he also cares for people, or at least not only his universe, but his teammates. I mean, we've seen him seeing Khalifa. We've seen him see... Uh, we've seen him help Kale, and we've seen him also step in when Goku is getting his ass kicked in the in uh, the the turn of power. So uh, he and, has an honor code. He does. He definitely does. And you know, honestly, it's it's really cool. I would definitely, and I know I'm a fanboy, and you guys can go down to the comment section below if you want, and you can debate me all you want. I really feel like Hit is a way more interesting character, despite the comparison that he has with Jiren. Because Jiren is just, I, I don't know, like the only thing we've ever, actually ever really seen from him, the only emotion that we've gotten from him in particular is him saying that Saiyans are interesting creatures or interesting beings during the fight in the one hour special. I mean, that's the only thing where it seemed like he was having any fun whatsoever. Like this is the first person in his entire life who has ever challenged him and honestly, like I don't necessarily think that really makes for a compelling villain. We had Goku literally break the boundaries of what he thought or anyone thought was actually possible for that particular character. And even though it was a fleeting situation and if it had gone on for much longer, Jiren might have actually been in huge trouble. But that wasn't the case and that's not the way they decided to tell this story. So one of the things we were left with is... Jiren is just an OP character amongst everyone else. And what makes everything else compelling and everyone else compelling around him is that they rally. Because this, the show took great uh, length to explain to the audience that if Jiren beats Goku, especially when Goku is trying his hardest, his damnedest, then everyone else will lose spirit. Goku or Goku will Vegeta everyone else and then basically the tournament's theirs that's not what happened at all I've said this time and time again at least on my Twitter account that when it comes to speculation from characters in Dragon Ball Super they act almost primarily like us in this community <laughs> on YouTube or Reddit or wherever you are where we just kind of come up with like oh yeah that like totally makes sense and when you hear it, it's like yeah that makes sense but at the same time you're like no that's not how it's going to happen at all. Everyone's going to rally around Jiren, and it makes everyone else more interesting around him because this guy's basically a wall. And honestly, I feel like that character cannot sustain itself in throughout this arc, let alone any other arcs in the entire series. And I really would like for, if this is the arc where we focus heav heavily and almost primarily on Universe 11, for them to focus on Jiren, give it to Jiren and have him be the main bad. But as soon as we get done with this particular storyline, we move forward and we start focusing on other people in other universes, even though they might not necessarily be fighting for their particular universe right now in the Tournament of Power, or it's one of the four universes sitting out. Yeah, an interesting point that you brought up. I mean, it made me actually think about this. If Jiren is going to beat Goku, or if Goku's going to beat Jiren, or just after their whole scuffle, I honestly think Jiren shouldn't come out like respecting Goku like how Hit did. I think that that would be a really good way to set them apart in their relationship, at least. Because, I mean, the whole thing is... Yeah, there are different stakes now than there was in the Universe 6 and 7 tournament. We saw that Hit had a really good amount of respect for Goku. But then whenever Jiren was saying about like, oh, like Saiyans are interesting, he didn't really, he seemed to have a smile on his face. Not once did Jiren ever crack a smile or seem like he was enjoying himself. Because I mean, you're kind of saying like how it seemed like he was enjoying himself. I never got that message. I actually got that Jiren is just like, I'm just here, like, cold, calculative, pragmatic. I have the ultimate power. I mean, a lot of people can say, like, that he might have Ultra Instinct, because, yeah, he is called Jiren the Grey, and he has grey eyes. It's pretty obvious he probably has it. So, in that sense, if you're moving without thinking, I think that Jiren might not even be having any emotion in that time. Because whenever Goku is fighting in that Ultra Instinct, it's not like he was enjoying himself or anything like that. 
he was just fighting up to his peak. So to me, I think that maybe the Ultra Instinct, maybe Jiren has that, and maybe that aspect, maybe that is what adds to Jiren's personality, to where he has that cold, kind of boring demeanor, like what a lot of people are saying. Like, he's kind of like a blank slate, and maybe that's just a natural thing that happens whenever you have the mastery of movement, because I still think that Jiren has the mastery of movement, but I don't know what you think about that. I mean, I'm, I haven't really thought about whether or not Jiren has the mastery of movement, considering the fact that what we've seen, I mean, uh, Hit can't even sneak up on this guy. No one can sneak up on this guy to the point we saw Goku uh, not letting Dispo or Topo even sneak up or get a shot in edgewise. Uh, honestly, I think it, it makes a lot of sense if that were the case. Uh, and we haven't seen anything from Jiren to establish that. I mean, he didn't have the same aura. He didn't have the same look. And usually when it comes to Dragon Ball, we look to those particular telltale signs like a new transformation, a new aura, a new something else like that. But Jiren is just kind of stoic. There's nothing that really sets him apart from anyone else besides, I guess, his just general demeanor, his general visage, which is, is I get, uh, which is okay, but it's not enough to make us think one way or the other whether or not he's he has that particular uh, that particular ability. I I don't know. And and I think that when it comes to when it comes to Jiren fighting Goku or Gohan or Piccolo or Frieza, Vegeta, anyone else in the Tournament of Power, I think he represents a decent enough threat. And like honestly, uh, like Monaka before him, it's going to kind of boil down to that one person in the long line of people in Dragon Ball Super, whether it's true or not, that Goku feels like is the next challenge, but doesn't necessarily come across him every single day like he did in, like he kind of faced in Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Super, where heroes or enemies became friends and everyone kind of ended up being buddy-buddy with each other. These people are literally separated between universes. So, after all of this is said and done, like I've said throughout, like Jiren will go back to Universe 11, Goku will go back to Universe 7, and they won't really interact until, as you said earlier, they go to a tournament or some kind of ending arc or arc sometime down the line where Goku will be really excited to teach or to fight Jiren, probably more on an equal playing field than they are right now. But Jiren won't come to Universe 6 or 7 or anyone to fight Hit or fight Goku or anyone else in order to move the story forward. This is his moment, and I'm not necessarily sure we're ever going to see him or the Pride Troopers ever again after it. Nope, I don't think so either. Because, I mean, one thing is that there's nothing for Jiren to be motivated to even go over to a different universe. Because Hit... He was, like, technically hired by Goku to go over to fight him. Jiren doesn't have any reason to do that. Because, I mean, it's likely a plot hole. But whenever Goku Black was going around and killing all the Kaioshins, it's not like Jiren went over to any of the other universes or just the universe that Black was in to go stop him because he's, like, so obsessed with justice or anything like that. So I doubt that Jiren would have any reason to just, like, go over to Universe 7 or anywhere like that just on a whim to go and do whatever. Because, I mean, not even Frieza. I think that Frieza might be the only reason why Jiren would go over to Universe 7, and maybe we haven't seen any interactions between Jiren and Frieza. So who knows? Maybe Jiren could come back just for, like, a revenge against Frieza episode or something like that. Other than that, I don't really see any reason for Jiren to go and fight Goku. Because, I mean, their first interaction was Jiren basically saying, Get lost. I'm, I don't care about you being excited to fight me or Topo or anyone like that. So, I mean, if Jiren isn't willing to go and stop Goku Black, I mean, Frieza would have to do something very, very crazy in order for Jiren to want to even go over to Universe 7 or just kind of disturb anywhere else, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And that and that's really, the, that's really the point here is I think that this series has so many multiverses even if even if this tournament were to end in all but one universe 
are are destroyed uh, and we only have five then we still have four other universes that we have absolutely no idea about their inhabitants or their fighters or anyone else like that, that to explore and that in and of itself could take up multiple arcs of any given show so there's a lot left to explore i honestly think that jiren is the badass right now He's taking up the spotlight, but as we get more and more in depth with this, maybe in the next tournament, if the, like you said, happens later down the line, then we have a situation where Jiren probably isn't the top dog. Ne neither is Goku or, or Hit or something, but everyone's progressed enough to make it even more of an exciting fight, like the old school Dragon Ball days where you, every single time you get back to a tournament, there's just more and more people to watch and more and more people to root for and you don't necessarily know who's going to win any particular fight. And I personally think that that's one of the things that's really cool about the old Dragon Ball tournaments. And if they were going to continue that trope going forward, I hope they really kind of focus on that as well. Yep, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, I want everyone to go down to the comment section below and tell us what you think about this. Do you think Jiren is going to be a main focus in any other future arcs of Dragon Ball Super, or is this his arc? Him, the Pride Troopers, Universe 11, Vermouth, everybody. And also, please make sure to go down to the description section below and hit that link and go subscribe to Golden Scatter, like I said at the very beginning of this video. Guy makes some really awesome content. You're not going to want to miss any of that stuff. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to hit that bell over by the subscriber button. It's going to notify you every single time I upload. And with that being said, guys, we hope you all have a really good day. It's been real.